The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same I'm, fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty Gurman, a.k.a. Scooter McFuck My Life. And alongside me, uh, pretty much at this point as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the very lovable, very deep voice-having homosexual. Please welcome the very funny Mr. JP. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. And he is the on- only Two time, two time. I'm a two time and son of a bitch. <laughs> Funniest <laughs> person in Wichita, Kansas. Please welcome Mr. Derek the Rec Alders. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I can't believe I get to sit here next to you every week, man. I can't I mean, believe almost every week. I can't believe you're sitting. That should be a goddamn standing O, JP. <laughs> I mean, you know what, man? I feel like I've already done that. <laughs> so. I can't do it every time. Oh, man. Well, welcome in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to this show, this is a comedy podcast. We like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast where, you le- where we use foul language. Like and- the word fuck. Yeah, that one. That one oh. is used quite a lot. Uh, but this is also an adult podcast. I gotta and, go. And, uh, and we my like pa- my pastor would not like this. <laughs> oh, really? Your pastor? Yes. Something oh. tells me that's full of shit. Hey, uh, I pray but, to who I pray to. Yeah, uh, and we also like to offend people. So if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Bye. We got a lot of stuff to talk about today. Uh, first time Derek's been back since uh, a particular trade has happened. I know a lot of people were asking about that in particular. Uh, we've got Never Have I Ever is back. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. Uh, but as we do every show, we're going to talk about what's happened to us over the last week. And so, Mr. Anticlimactic himself, everybody, Mr. JP. So I've been bowling, smoking, <laughs> straight west coasting. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I uh, went to a friend's 50th birthday party on Friday night. Was it yours? Uh, no. Oh. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, got a few years till then, but... Uh-huh. Uh, his mom and aunt have a place out in Benton and they have a plane. They live right on the airfield. So we, oh, over by Stearman. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so fuck. Yeah. We did it in their, their hangar and uh man, it was awesome. Oh, I'm sure. There tons of people and it was good to see everybody. So yeah. it was fun. It yeah. was a lot of fun. And, uh, uh and was, then, oh, and then uh Saturday night, yeah, went over to, uh, Derek's house and played poker. Mm hmm. And that was a lot of fun for me. It was a lot of fun for me, too. Fucking finally. You actually won. I couldn't believe it, man. I got second place in the tournament somehow. Yeah. I don't know how. I I really don't know how I eked that one out, but I did. And then I won a decent amount of cash in the in the cash game. So, yeah. Yeah, I feel good about it. That's awesome. Yeah, man. I, uh, I We were all three there. Yeah, I, I was there because I lived there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, we would have never invited <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I suck at poker. <laughs> you do, but I you suck, know what, man? We're glad to have you there. And you know what? I'm happy to donate. I, I like I like seeing cards. Yeah, I, man. I, I just I really do. I I ha- I've been I haven't played. I think since the last time. You don't think we invite you for your company, right? Well, I figured. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not an idiot. You're the fish. I'm not uh, dense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even a guy who sucks at poker can get lucky. Look at Jamie Gold. Yeah. <laughs> you, oh, you know dude. What I mean? Very true. Yeah. Oh, I hate that guy. Uh, he's fucking terrible. He is terrible. But but yeah, so you did good at poker. Yep, yep. And uh, I've been bowling really, really good lately. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, you know, other than really? not being able to get laid. Well, I mean, that's it. Uh, yeah, there was uh, there was a question that you posed on the... Uh, oh, yeah. On I, anyone. I don't even care at this point. If you have money and you're willing to take care of me, man, I'm in. What, I about, don't even, what about that guy with the V-neck socks? Nope. <laughs> it's, it's only money. It's not that important. <laughs> the V-neck socks? Yeah. So there's this guy that I used to bowl with, 
and uh, he's a big dude, and he has the biggest cankles I've ever seen <laughs> in my entire life. Yeah. Like, I don't know how the sock stretches that far. Like, wow. It shouldn't. Right. It shouldn't. So uh, he was at the bowling alley about a couple months ago, and uh, I just like, Derek, Derek, you know, I was like, check that out. And he's like, Jesus Christ, he needs some V-neck socks. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking great. Uh, it was fucking fantastic. Well, I guess if that's your week, I'll kick it off. Yes, I didn't say I was done. Oh, I thought you were Maybe done. I did more. Oh, did you? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> Very good. I just kind of, I I, I've, I, kind of assumed. and I assumed, That was a lot already I, for yeah, me. I was going to say, yeah, pretty right? solid. Yeah. He, made, he made a bong out of a hat. Oh, I did do that. Yeah. Did you really? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You fucking assholes. Uh, so yeah, poker night was a lot of fun, even though I donated quite a few times uh i i still had fun it's always cool to get together with a group of guys that like everybody's cool and i mean how many was this there's 12 11 11, 11 yep. of us and uh it's kind of funny and it's the coolest <clears throat> thing in the world because it's a good game but it's not terribly expensive it's not ex i mean it well, really is it was for you no nah, not really <laughs> i mean not not horribly you gotta remember i'm rich Derek. yeah that's true um snowboards they're all over the place mm -hmm. Now um, you got skis. You got two snowboards. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so they're skis now. Yeah, uh, and but JP loves to go skiing. I think it's really correct. Cool. I think it's really cool because after you sit down at a table for a couple hours, you start picking up on stuff. But I did not realize. I mean, I know Jamie is good at cards. I know he's oh, very good yeah. at cards. Mm -hmm. But the banner back and forth with you and him the whole oh, yeah. fucking night. Oh, I was losing my shit. Yeah. I had so much fun. Uh, but the coolest part is, is it's a cheap game or it's an inexpensive game, but everybody is good at, I mean, the, so, above average. So like when, you know, Jamie and I both smoke. Yeah. So when we would go smoke, we were talking strategy. <laughs> we were, <laughs> we were, he's like, did you see him do this? And I was like, dude, I totally saw him do that. And I'm going to take advantage of that later. I guarantee I end up with his chips. And Jamie's like, not if I can get him first. So there were actually two pots during the night that, one that I called Jamie with, like, nothing. Yeah. Because I knew the only reason he raised was because he was trying to get in there with dude. Yeah. And I was like, nah, fuck you. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, you're not getting in there without me. And then, like, maybe two or three hands later, dude raised and then I repopped him, and Jamie just looked at me like you motherfucker. And then he called, and I'm like, okay. And then it ended up I won one of them. Jamie won the other one. But uh, <laughs> was it tournament or the cash game? This was uh, still during the tournament. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it was a lot of fun. It was. <coughs> it was. It, it, was, was. it was a good time. Um, I uh, actually, fi I finally beat Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's taken me that long. Congratulations. So that means that there has to be a new game to go to. That's you know that's a big game, long game. And I've had it for two years. I bought it when it first came out, and I hadn't played it. And I played Far Cry 6. And I know it's been out for a long time, but it's in, like, a coastal country to where you're by the ocean, and there are sharks in said fucking ocean. Oh, well, no wonder you didn't play it. So, Oh, no. I, I, I Oh, I played it this weekend. Yeah, I played the fuck well, out did. of it. Yeah. But it was absolutely hilarious because my wife wanted to watch me play, and I couldn't understand why. And it's because there would be situations to where I would have to get in the goddamn water. And I was there. I was terrified. Dude. Absolutely terrified. It was a fucking video game and video game sharks scared the shit out of me. <laughs> nice. That's that's ridiculous. That's, good deal. that's so pathetic. Um, you want to you uh, turn all the lights off and watch Jaws? Uh, absolutely fucking not. <laughs> and that's one of my favorite movies, Love too. That movie. That's also so, JP's nickname. Yeah, uh, I'm sure. True. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, but yes, it was also, uh, my much, much like a snake. I can unhinge mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good. That's great. Just letting you know. Thanks, man. I'm good. You're welcome. Uh, but it was also my holiday over this last it weekend. Was. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. All of us little I Irish tried, fucks. We tried to catch you Saturday night, we but sure God did. damned if you're, you're slippery little son of a bitch. Oh, I got away. He still got his gold. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Man. We got some of it. That's true. Uh, but yeah, so happy St. Patrick's Day for everybody out there. I hope you guys had a, had a good time and uh, nobody died. <laughs> uh, and then, then lastly, I did want to make kind of an announcement. We tried something different this week, and we've done it before, but I think we're going to stick with it because it was really nice. Uh, but we're going to now do, instead of Monday fun day, it's always going to be Monday Friday. Everybody's, I mean, that's like the weekend. It's kind of nice. But also, if we record an episode on Tuesday, 
it gives us a little bit it's more the, time. It's a beautiful thing about month. It can go on any day. It can of the go week. on any day. It's still a fun day. You can like yeah. still call it month day fun day. You can. Yeah. Yeah. You can. You damn sure can. But you know, it is what it is. So uh, now that's going to start coming out on Fridays. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I believe this next episode. We don't know. We actually may uh, record over the weekend. So be on the lookout for that. If you see it and you want to put something in there, always put it in as fast as possible because whenever we decide we're going to record, <laughs> I'm going to start writing the show. Uh, but other than that, I had a great weekend. Um, so, yeah, that was my week. Uh, Derek, you haven't been here in two weeks. How you been? Fine. Good. Yep. Yeah. All right. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. I, I uh, played poker with you assholes. Yes, you did. Uh, I won a little bit of money. Good for Not you. as much as I did. <laughs> yeah. Go I, fuck yourself. But I've never oh, lost as much as you have. True. Uh, uh, Very true. So, yeah. I won a little bit of money playing cards. Uh, bought oh. enough or won enough to pay for the... I bought a video game. Oh, what'd you get? That Ghosts of... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sashimi or whatever, the sushi thing. Yeah, Ghosts yeah. of Sashima. <laughs> yeah, I bought that. Have you played it yet? No, I'm waiting on it. Oh, it's still I'm coming. I'm cheap. I wasn't going to pay 70 bucks new, so I bought it on eBay for 30 I don't blame you. So, I so, don't blame you. Ready for, I've also got another game that's getting ready to come out that I'm ready to go pick up. Uh, South Park Snow Day comes out. A video game? Yeah. Oh, next. Wow. Have you played the other ones? Oh, yeah. They're good. The ones back in the yeah. day were hilarious. Fractured Butthole was not great. What was the one with the chickens that you shot chicken cannons? That at? was the first one on Nintendo 64. 64. Yeah. yeah, I played yeah. that one. That mm -hmm. was fun. I bought a 64 to play that game when I was in high school and then beat it and then returned the 64. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You fucking dog. Yeah, I was a piece of shit. Well, I mean, I mean still am, but yeah. I was, too. Absolutely. <laughs> I've always been this way. Yeah. <laughs> so did that. Uh, been doing comedy. So still. not this not this last weekend. Uh, I did poker instead. But, man, I went from decide, trying to figure out if I was going to just stop doing comedy to taking that last-minute show in Topeka. And then the next week I did a show at Vorshay's. And then the next week I did the show... With Steve at the Crown uh, Crown Uptown mm -hmm. with Paulie Shore. That's right. You, uh, we talked a little bit about that last week. But yep. what was uh, what was your experience with Paulie? He was a nice guy. Yeah, and I, uh, I guess Steve got to chat with him briefly. I didn't think I was going to really get a chat with him, um, but like I found out last minute, I was bringing him up. So they took me into his green room and we chatted for a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, and just told him like his one man show was really cool, just about how his life was as a kid all the way up until he started like making movies. Yeah, as a comedy dork, I love that. Um, so I just told him I was like, man, I said I loved your show last night. That was as a comedy fan like that. You've had a, an incredible life, and he just looked at me and he's like. I know, bro. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he put me on his Instagram story, which is pretty cool. Yeah, he spelled uh, it fucking wrong. Oh, yeah. First, I was Damon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but now I'm now I'm Derek with a C. Uh, well, D -E -R -E -C -K. the thing is, it, <clears throat> yeah. it didn't matter because he didn't have to write it on a check. So, yeah, you really need to know exactly. Your name. Yeah, right, right. yeah, it was it was free. The other cool part was, I mean, there was like 1,100 people there. Exactly. So right. I went from 35 people to like 100 people to like 1,100 people. So the cool weeks. part would have been how much were tickets? I have no idea. 20 bucks? No, I bet they were more than that. Right. Yeah. So even at 20 bucks. He can't kick you a couple bones for opening for him, man. Oh, I know. Ah, fuck that. I know. And I'm sorry, and I love fucking the movies, man. The movies, yes. But that is such a fucking dick bag move mm. for somebody that has that kind of money. I don't care if you're promoting fucking local comedians or not. I don't give a fuck. Dude, Throw pay the motherfucker to open for you, you dick bag. Here's the deal, though. If I if I would if we all three would have said no, they would have found three more that would have done it. No, I'm not saying that you. I'm not saying you shouldn't have done it. Just it's a great general. experience for you, just in general. But it's just a dick bag move for somebody with that kind of money that's making that kind of money not to just throw you a couple bones, man. This is more of a dick bag move. Uh, the Wu Tang Clan, Scotty. They're a rap group. You wouldn't like them. I know who they are. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, the Wu Tang Clan came well, here because they're, they're all black. <laughs> I was talking to, I think it was a DJ or somebody and they were talking about uh opening for the wu-tang clan when they came here and they yeah. they put out uh a couple emails to some people and they got back uh, and they were like yeah uh five grand and you can open for us oh wow, wow. they wanted them to pay the oh wow yeah. that is a dick bag move wow but you know what they say cash rules everything around me cream get the money dollar dollar bill y'all <laughs> that's, that's right. what they say so they, that is exactly what they, they say, they do say uh, that. 
and uh, which is also my walk up through. Song. Yeah, that yeah. is what I walked up to. Dude, that's crazy. I was I got nervous because I didn't want to fuck up the intro. Like I was fine with my material, and I didn't. That didn't really bother me. I would have, but should have paid me. I'll fucking get your intro right <laughs> next time. The way they did. No, I didn't want to fuck up intro and him. Right, I get it. Uh, I would have. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> but uh, so I didn't want to fuck that up. And then like right before I like getting ready to go on, the dude that owned the place is like, "Okay, you got his intro. Now you got to make sure you say this, 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 and this." And I'm like, fuck. So I kind of blanked. Thank God I had a light, but I kind of blanked on what my time was. I hit time fine. Yeah. And my legs were shaky the whole time, which was a little weird because I'm never fucking nervous. That's a lot of people, man. That didn't even bother. I couldn't even fucking see him. That didn't bother me. The silence would have bothered me, but I didn't have any. So I was good on that. Oh, oh but, boy. Listen to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, this is um, fucking Wichita's greatest comedian, of that, course. Of course. So I still think I'm the second second funniest. Yeah, and Megan was there, too. I agree that she's the funniest. <laughs> I totally fucking, I will 100% hands down say that. Yeah. Uh, and when I but watched her. But you won't her, give her the grand. No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's my retirement money, Scotty. <laughs> Uh, that, how am I going to sail around the world yeah, if I without my grand? Right, I got to have my grand. Sure. Yeah. How am I going to get naked supermodels to feed me <laughs> grapes <laughs> if I give her my thousand oh, dollars? You're right. You're how right. am I going to get a penis <laughs> enlargement, <laughs> then reduction, and then re enlargement if I give her my thousand dollars? Hundred percent. I just can't commit. You yeah, know. I get uh, you. I get you. You got to have your money, dude. Yeah. So I mean, it was cool. It was a, it was a really cool experience. It was a fucking roller coaster. I know you guys were making fun of me for it, uh, but the way it all went down is <laughs> we were making fun. I know you guys were. I know you guys were. But the way it went down, dude, it was fucking frustrating. Because I get an e- I get a message on Facebook. The show is on Friday. I get a message on Thursday, and it said, "Hey, uh, are you? Would you want to open for Polly Shore tomorrow and Saturday?" And I was like, "Absolutely." Uh, she was like, "Cool. Just send me a clip." And we'll make sure uh, I got to run it by him to get final approval. And uh, I should be able to get back with you here in the next couple hours. Okay. So uh, I send her the clip. I didn't have a clip. I messaged Scotty. I'm like, fuck, dude, I need a clip. (laughs) And uh, I found the 9-11 joke I do. It was either either the wiener's drone on your face or 9-11 joke. I went 9-11. 9-11 is way better. So I sent him the 9-11 joke. So (laughs) I, I send that over. And then I don't hear anything. And I'm like, well, should have went with the wieners. Yeah. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> Always go with the wieners. And then, uh, so like Megan messages me and was like, hey, did you hear anything about uh, Polly Shore? And I said, yeah, they shot me a message. I had to send them a clip to get approval. And she's like, okay, well, I know they messaged Steve and they messaged Travis. And I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know they messaged a bunch of us. And I imagine they'd messaged her because she had the most fucking suggestions on that post. Mm-hmm. Um, and they hadn't. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> So then I messaged that lady at like 6. She messaged me at 2 originally. I messaged her back at 6 p.m. And I'm like, hey, just want to know if you need anything else. And she's like, no, his flight's delayed. Uh, Sorry about that. I should know something here within an hour. I don't hear shit. And I'm like, okay. So the next morning, Steve and I were texting about it. And I was on my way to work. So I just called Steve. And uh, as me and Steve are on the phone, he's like, dude, they just fucking messaged me. Like just now, uh, they want me to open. I'm doing 20-ish minutes. Uh, both nights and i'm like oh okay well i know they want two because she did leave a message saying she needed two and uh i was like hopefully i hear something and i don't hear anything <laughs> dude and, i swear to god i would pay a, a very large amount of money if i could have just been here with you while you were going through this <laughs> deal. No, it wasn't really a roll i mean here's what here's what happens so i message her and i'm like hey yeah. it's an hour goes by and i'm like hey just want to know if you need me for anything uh, so i can prepare because I wasn't, I was expecting Megan to get it the entire time anyway, and uh, she's like, "No, actually, we ended up going with Steve and Megan. Megan was able to get a tape submitted. She emailed like the Looney Bin who knew him, who so she was able to get something submitted, and they picked her and Steve. And I'm like, okay. And I'm sitting here thinking, well, fuck, that would have been nice to know instead of just leaving me here on a fucking island. So I'm like, all right, whatever. And uh, she's like, we do want you for a show in September, and I was just like, okay. And that was about it. And then like two hours later, she's like, actually, we do need you. <laughs> Um, he wants three and I'm like, fuck, I mean, fuck, right. it. fuck it. If they're free, <laughs> why, why let's not? have yeah. eight. Why right. not? So that's why I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I am. I'm not, I am. I'm not, I am like, it was fucking, yeah, it was crazy, but <laughs> fuck it. Let's just let everybody go up. Let yeah. Ride. Uh, but you had a good time. Yeah, I did. That's good. I did. And I did the whole thing fucking not drinking. It was crazy. Yeah, that's mm. good. Yeah. I mean, so, good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. I've gotten used to it. I did drink on Sunday though. I went out for St. Pat's. 
Oh. I did. I broke the diet. I had six beers. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, two of them were Guinnesses, so that's like two loaves of bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's not good. No yeah, shit. Yeah, but I did. I did. Had, I had six beers and uh, was still a fucking old dude. We went. We got done drinking at like fucking 7.30 and then went to dinner, and then I was in bed by 9.30. Oh, God. It's, so, it's happening. Dude, it sucks. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. But it happens to us all. Well, I'm glad everybody had a great week, so I hope everybody out there had a great week as well. Uh, now we get to kick this bitch off. We're going to start with some headlines, at least with the one, these are the ones that I found this week. Uh, I saw a video. The first, I'm going to kick it right off with women's college basketball, mm-hmm. like, you know, like you do. And the only reason I'm bringing this up is because I want to know what you guys would do in this situation. Uh, the head coach, or I'm sorry, the former head coach of the Utah State uh, women's basketball team, uh, Kayla Ard, was fired moments before a post-game press conference, meaning she was fired immediately after the game, right before she went into a press conference, and it was extremely awkward whenever they one of the people asking questions asked her, so what uh, things are you going to change different for next season? And that's whenever she just let it go and said, uh, I just coached my last basketball f- game for this team. Dead fucking silence. Dude, man. I got to look that up. Oh, man. I bet that's And awesome. you can tell she's emotionally distraught oh, and awesome. probably just pissed. And it's like, fuck. I am Because she's a woman. What else is she going to do? Right. Be? Yeah. I am now a Utah State women's basketball <laughs> fan. Because I don't know how many times I didn't want Matt Nagy or Matt Eberflus back on the fucking plane <laughs> to Chicago, let alone to give the press conference. Right. So fucking hell yes to yeah. Utah State women's basketball. <laughs> I don't know what they are, if they're the, the fighting giners or what, but I want a fucking they t-shirt. <laughs> they are the yeah. fighting giners, naturally. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I, hope, I hope she finds a, a different endeavor. I can't believe they let her do the press conference. That's what I was thinking the whole time. I'm going, if you let somebody go. Don't they have an assistant? Yeah, or something. Somebody. Or just anyone. have the president or whoever anyone, fired her right. come out and do it. But it's, I fired that bitch. But, I'll be talking to you today. Ex- <laughs> exactly. Something. But, but something tells me the reason why that did not happen <clears throat> was because I think she was fired over a phone call. This is my guess. I don't know this is for certain. I think she was fired over a phone call, and the people who fired her weren't at the game. Yeah. Because who goes to college women's basketball in the first place? But that's what I think happened, and that was just fucking awkward. But crazy. anyways, it was crazy. I but love it. I'm glad you do. Mm-hmm. Uh, but March Madness has officially begun. Actually, as we're recording, we're watching the play-in games right now. So uh, I I, um, I can honestly say this will probably be my second year in a row, maybe, that I will probably not watch a single fucking game. Why? I NIL, man, I'm out. I, I've been out of college basketball now for – Probably since uh, probably four years ago. I can't get into it. Even if Wichita State starts doing good, it frustrates the shit out of me that all of these players who are going to be here for this year probably won't be there next year. And he used to not even tear your tickets out of your season ticket book. You I know. would like take the entire book in and have them scan it. Yeah, and that was the golden era. That was whenever you know Wichita State made the Final Four. They had the undefeated season. So, they beat KU. I mean, it was great. What if Wichita State became fucking dominant again? Would you be like, oh, I'm fucking in? No, didn't you hear me say that? I said even if they get good again i probably i can't do this nil bullshit i don't know i can't it's just and the other thing is is i have a lot of disagreements with the school and how they're changing things on campus that i don't want to go into was it like the integration no you dick it was was definitely integration wichita state has been one of like the one of the poster child schools for like that kind of stuff like foreign exchange students coming in and i yeah it's great i didn't say immigration i said integration oh oh, yeah well that that's fine it's a different deal (laughs) yeah yeah that's that's fine too i know it sounds the same to you people (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no it's just it's just a lot of stuff and so i just i can't support him until a lot of shit changes but i know i know derek is gonna be probably watching the whole fucking thing filling out a bracket and anything like that oh, i'll have fucking hulu pulled i up thought he was phone. still talking about the integration <laughs> <laughs> no i was like yeah derek's into that kind of shit man yeah. you'll probably have popcorn yeah. so susan jenkins is definitely gonna get into that grade school <laughs> that's Jesus Christ. No, but like, okay, so your team is obviously Illinois. Uh-huh. Uh, how far do you think they're going to go? I think BYU beats them in the round of 32. Okay. And then who's who do you think is the favorite in this whole ordeal? Well, the team I like, 
I like Arizona, and I like Iowa State a lot. Okay. Uh, I think I have Iowa State in one bracket to win the whole thing. Okay. So. And they were ranked, what, sixth at one point? I'm uh, overall. I, uh, I don't know. They're a two seed. Okay. Yeah, that that sounds about right. I don't really have any ones. I think the only one I have, I don't have. I have. I think Purdue is going to be one of the first ones out. I think Nebraska is going to make a run. Okay. Uh, I know that a lot of people think I'm a fucking idiot for that, but I've watched some Nebraska games and they can shoot. And I think they are going to take down. I think they're playing. Is it Houston or UConn? It's UConn. 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 I think they're. I think they can beat UConn. And I know that I'm going to get fucking looked at like I'm insane. But I've watched them play probably two or three games this year, and man, they're going to be a fucking tough out. Yeah. So, and I still kind of have some. I I guess if I'm cheering for any team, I think it is actually probably Houston, just because. I don't know. I kind of I don't hate them for some crazy reason. All I really give a shit about is if KU doesn't win. Yeah, they're I'm cheering first. To. I have I have Samford beating them in both brackets. Yeah, wow, man, yeah. dude, they're not gonna win. I know, but what pisses me off more than anything is that they are still a four ranked team, mm-hmm. and they're not. I mean, I'm not saying they're not a top twenty five. Did you see but Bill Self off. came out basically crying about the fucking the four seed? The, yeah. Did he uh, not want it, or he was that he, he thought that they got a tough draw? Uh, he, kiss my fucking fuck ass, Bill! You, yeah. you hair plug having son of a bitch! <laughs> exactly. I knew that would be the reaction, uh, but uh, such yeah, bullshit. He's saying we got a real tough draw. The, and the NCAA it probably shouldn't have been that way. And the NCAA community. This is another reason why I stopped watching. Is because every single person, and for the last like five years, we've been doing the show Derek and I have been saying the same shit they are all over KU's nuts just all over them it should have been a five and they, I agree and I, that's just me going off their record strength the schedule all of the the metrics and stuff that I looked at no they're not a four but it doesn't matter but because they're a blue blood they're going to get the fucking highest seed that they can possibly get and they're going to be in the easiest fucking like region nice. that's way they do it with that team with keep, that school keep saying it though you look at them they lost the big 12 handily this year yes uh, they it's did it's funny how they do when everyone's yeah. allowed to pay mm-hmm. that's all I'm saying yeah that's a good point good point every team's allowed to pay players and now that's why Saban retired mm-hmm. so yeah exactly uh, but moving on, we're going to get to some NBA basketball. The only reason why I picked this out was because uh, good buddy Travis Cagle sent me a picture of it, and then I started to look into it, but it was absolutely hilarious. Uh, Grady Dick. Fuck him. And Anthony Black. Dude. <laughs> decided to do an NBA jersey swap after the game. That was awesome. And uh, if you put those two black or those two names together, you get Black Dick. And, and it they, was fucking awesome. It was awesome. fucking awesome. And it was so hilarious because it, uh, I don't even know who it was. I can't remember if it was black. I believe it was. But he was like going to get people to take a picture yeah, of it. Yeah, he went to go get somebody. Yeah. And then when, when they started putting their jerseys out, he realized like, he was on the wrong, wrong side, side. So he, had he to went go around. around. <laughs> yeah. So great. Yeah. It's fucking and awesome. And then Grady Dick the whole time just like he's, he's cheesing like, I can't believe I'm doing this. You <laughs> yeah. Know? Like that was good. And he it had to get good. talked into it. Oh, yeah. He it, talked it, him into he, it. He was like, come on, man. Yeah. Come on. At first, please. I don't think he was going to do it. I don't think and so he either. Talk, he's like, I think that's when he was like, all right, I'll go get somebody to take our picture where, you, where you're doing this. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and then he kind of didn't have a fucking choice. Yeah. It was pretty funny. So now he's got to do that with James Harden. Harden. Yeah, Harden <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, right, absolutely. Definitely. Uh, but good for him. Uh, the other thing I did want to point out, this is not funny or anything, but it's kind of fucking crazy, but former UFC champion Mark Coleman uh, was hospitalized. He just got sent home after going in and rescuing his parents from a house fire. He, their dog ended up actually passing away inside of said fire, but he like was in a coma for a couple of days. Crazy. It was it, dude fucking nuts. Yeah. I, especially doing like I did fire training and shit like that. That's some scary shit. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm sure. <clears throat> so, uh, hats off to him. I'm glad he's okay. Um, but obviously a lot of people want to hear what Derek has, uh, seen with the nfl roster moves and things like that i, I want to get to the first one uh first which is the chargers fucking derailing their entire team dude what the broncos the and the fuck? chargers have so much in common right now they are pissing They're me just, off oh dude it's ridiculous you want to know They're why? just handing the division to the chiefs exactly that oh. is exactly why i'm super yeah. fucking pissed about yeah. it yeah. the broncos are unloading and the chargers are unloading dude, everybody they, austin eckler is gone yeah. you've got they released mike williams yeah i know what the fuck yeah, keenan allen's gone what what do they have for wide receivers huge Quentin Johnson, I believe is his name. Oh, they'll draft like Malik they'll draft, yeah. or something. They'll have they'll to. They'll have to. They'll have to trade up and get something. But I don't even know where their draft pick is to make it even make a difference. So 
I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I, I think they've just absolutely murdered Justin Herbert because he's basically the only one that's there. Yeah. And yeah. so Harbaugh will find a way. I, Everybody says that, but this this is crazy to me. I, I don't like it at all. Well, usually you don't have Keenan Allen on the field the whole season anyway. That's Mike true. Williams is the same way. Eckler's kind of washed. So, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know how much you're really subtracting. Yeah. I think all those guys are replaceable. But then, and, and I believe, didn't one of them went to the Bears, didn't they? Keenan Allen went yeah, to the Bears. Yeah, that's right. So now we get to move on to that. Because a lot of people have been saying there's mainly been two teams that who have really strengthened their team, and that is the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Chicago Bears. Bears haven't really. Uh, I've heard a lot just because of these big names that you're getting. Obviously, we got Keenan Allen and DeAndre Swift yeah. and a bunch of backups. Yeah, yeah. I would have rather it just fucking re-signed Montgomery instead of fucking. He was already gone. I'm saying last year. Oh, I know. Thank I would have rather that. just re-signed him and then. So I don't. I don't know if I. Swift's not going to be on the field. Us Lions fan really appreciate that. He's going to be hurt. You're a one year fan. Three. So um, until they fucking start doing bad, no, I'll be fine. And you're like, you know what? I don't like free agency. <laughs> I'm fucking sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't like how these guys ruin the game. Leave. Yep. But the, obviously, the thing that we wanted to talk to you about was you, you ended up having the trade. Justin Fields going to Pittsburgh. Yep. He's now going to be behind Russell Wilson. They've already announced it. Yep. Russell Wilson will be the starting quarterback. Justin Fields will be behind it's him. It's almost like they learned something from the Broncos. Maybe. They're like, you know what? This guy's probably going to suck. We're only paying. I mean, of course you're going to take a flyer for what you're paying him. Yeah, 1.3. They're not stupid. They're like, you know what? If we have to just fucking yank him and eat that fucking million bucks, at least we'll have somebody that can fucking finish the season. Yeah, there's punters that make more money than yeah, fucking him, right, so that, right. or that they're paying crazy, for more. So, um, but yeah, so what do you think about the whole switch? Well, uh, I'm okay with them trading fields. Okay. Um, I I really hope I don't like a sixth round pick. I I hope Pittsburgh took Ryan Poles out to dinner before they fucked him this time, <laughs> um, because that's what they did with Claypool. They uh-huh. fucked him on that. That turned into Joey Porter Jr. Um, so I don't like what they got. I rather would have kept Justin Fields uh, and just waited for either after the draft or somebody to go down and then get more for him. It's not even a six rounder this year. It's next year. Could it turn into a fourth? Yes, but he's got to play 51% of the snaps. Yeah. It's trash. Uh, yeah, it is. So I think bears are, the bears are going to do one of two things. I'm, I'm 99% sure that they are going to draft Caleb Williams, which, okay, hopefully it works you, you, out. So you don't, you don't mind that No. I think the other move is to trade back with Washington to two and uh, get a haul for that number one pick. Let them take Caleb Williams and then take Jaden Daniels. That's what I would do. So I think one of those two is, is what they're going to do. I, um, I I hope for your sake and, and your mental stability, I hope that this, the latter happens. I just hope they make the right decision. I don't care who the fuck it is. I just hope they make the right decision. I think I think I honestly think from what I what everybody's been saying about him and everything like that, I think Caleb Williams is can, is cancer. Well, and kudos to Ryan Poles because Ryan Poles is like here's here's the other issue I have is Ryan Poles is like we're going to do right by Justin. We want to do right by Justin. That's what he kept saying. I guess there were four other or three other teams that were interested that had better packages for him, mm-hmm. and uh, but he didn't want to go there. He wanted to go to Pittsburgh, and they did right by him, which is fine. However, if Justin Fields was going to get paid and it was time to get that extension done and he leaves because he's going to make more money somewhere else, then it's a business. Mm-hmm. So you got to throw that shit out the window. Yeah. So, no, you take whatever the best package is. So yeah. I don't like that part. I'm more talking about Caleb Williams. I'm Dude. I'm terrified for whoever gets him because while I think he's very athletic, very talented, uh, and probably a decent quarterback, I kind of have a feeling that he will be kind of like a Deshaun Watson. I'll take a Deshaun Watson. Um, I just I don't know if you want that in your huddle. I really don't. I don't want that in my massage parlor, but I'll take it in my <laughs> yeah, huddle. Yeah. yeah. I, just, I just don't. I don't like it. He seems like his head is already too big, uh, and I don't. I, think, I wouldn't want that. I think part of it's his dad. Oh, yeah. I think that's where it's like LeVar Ball, but eventually maybe dad will shut the fuck up. LeVar did. Mm, yeah. Uh, so, and I mean, I LaMelo Ball's great. Sure. So. What about you, JP? You're down there. You were going to say something. 
I was going to say we're a sports podcast. We've been on the air now for long enough. Could we not just call Goodell and get the script? Yeah, we probably that would find be out fantastic. What's really going on? I want to know how good he's going to be. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Well, I'll I'll reach out to my contacts. Please I do. do. Have something else. Please do. Um, see if you can get with Trill Sports. Trill Sports. <laughs> see, oh. knows. see if they can get Goodell on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Every single time we mention Trill Sports, we give them a, a view, a click, and do I'm we? very happy. Oh, I'm sure nice. of it. I love that. Somebody looks them up and yeah. goes, "What in the shit what is this?" They the are. <laughs> That is our ceiling if we're lucky. <laughs> yeah, if we're lucky. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, and I know that there was uh, there was a huge dunk that you brought up, and I didn't write it and write it Anthony down. Anthony Edwards, dunk uh, of the fucking year, dude. That it, thing was it, nasty. It was fucking sick. And I don't know how, like, what does it feel like whenever you get posterized like that? Oh, God, JP would love it because it's nuts all in your mouth. <laughs> yep. Guilty. Yeah. God yeah. damn it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Sorry, it'll but, go. But uh, yeah, yeah. It's that is epic. That was awesome. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But uh, that is all of the headlines, or those are all the headlines that I have for this week. Now we get to move on to the fun. Yeah. Thank Excellent. God. Ah, thank God. Keep laughing, assholes. Yeah, absolutely. see you. Later. Yeah, see you. Oh, man, we've got Never Have I Ever. Thank you guys very much for participating in Monday, Friday. We sincerely do appreciate it. Again, those are going to start coming out every Friday, so be on the lookout for that. First one for Never Have I Ever comes in from Christian George. He wants to know, Never Have I Ever Worn Two Different Colored Socks All Day. Yeah. So I used to do this thing where I know you probably still do, where you have to have the the matching socks all together. Or whatever. Um, I just throw all my socks in a drawer and I just grab whatever, man. I'll get there. I may have fucking, I mean, I probably have an Adidas and a Nike sock on right now. They're both black. Uh-huh. But that's not to say I haven't worn two different colors. I don't give a fuck. Derek? I've worn two different lengths. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that too. I've done a no-show and then like a yeah, knee-high. I like love that. I, that's actually how I usually like to <clears throat> rock it. Yeah? Yeah, one no-show, one knee-high. Yeah. I, no, I completely understand. Especially if you're coming up on diabetes, you got to have those. You have to have I'm that. Gonna have right. to get some, I actually <laughs> yeah, have to get correct. some compression socks. <laughs> Goddamn diabetes. <laughs> I have to for that long plane ride. Uh, like, yeah, I've been I, recommended that. I, right. I think it'd be a good idea. Yeah. Smart. I have. I I'm have to get bed sores on the plane. Oh, God, no. That's gross. Uh, I, <laughs> I seriously have a mental fucking problem. I know it. We've all been saying it. I know. Well, thank God you finally admit it. Uh, so not only can I not wear the different color socks, I, I fucked, I, I fucked myself. I, yeah, you usually I, finish in the sock. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. No, I, uh, I don't was, wear it after you're done though. I was getting to the point to where I needed to get a new uh, group of socks because it's not a pair. You know what I mean? Like you buy them in those big Hanes packs or whatever. I don't. Well, I do. Buy uh, whatever. For fruit of the loom well, or yeah, whatever, whatever the fuck it is. But yeah. Well, I fucked up. I only wear black socks and I actually bought a size larger and now they have mixed. So now I freak the fuck out whenever i have one sock on that's a little bit smaller than the other fucking sock uh, i can just sizes. feel it yeah of course there's sizes i guess i always buy large i guess so but i don't uh i'm i'm sure you don't i'm a little leprechaun i, I have i have yes. smaller feet okay. so it but even that drives yeah, me fucking bonkers that. absolutely nuts uh, next one, we're going to move on to, this comes in from Andrew Highgard. <laughs> what? <laughs> he wants to know, uh, never have I ever done an impression of an Irish man with Down syndrome. No, I have I, not. I don't think I have. Me no, either. I sure haven't. Derek? Never. How about you, Derek? Never done it. No, that's really. a fucking <laughs> lie. No, that's never. such a lie. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I bet you you could but probably you, do it. But if you <laughs> were to try to <laughs> do it, try to what do would it? that sound like? I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> oh, I, I think you can. I, I mean, you probably could try. Do the people really want me to do that? <laughs> yeah, I think they do. I <laughs> yes. think, and by the people. <laughs> it's me and JP. Yeah, we really do. <laughs> and everybody else. I'll okay. think about it. Oh, come no, on. No, I don't. Oh. Come on, man. I'll, I'll try it sometime. You uh, can do I've it. I've never done it before. So <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it any justice. Oh, no, I think man. you can. Oh, uh, God. Yep. Top uh, top funniest uh, moments of uh, this show. Well, fucking TikTok would disagree. <laughs> uh, well, they kind of stopped the spreading of that one. They kind of held that one back. Oh, oh yeah. 100%. Fucking assholes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, anyways, uh, next one comes in from Xander Garico, I believe is how you pronounce that, uh, or Carico. Uh, he wants to know. <laughs> Carico, <laughs> what the fuck is your problem? Yeah, dude? Carico. It's, uh, Carico. It's a double R, man. Yeah, you got it. That's right. I speak a little bit of Spanish. That's a uh, Xander Carico. <laughs> Fair enough. That sounds better anyway. Carico. Yeah. Uh, but he wants to know never have I ever got drunk and woke up in a different city or state. I've done both those things. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, explain yourself. I mean, it happens. <laughs> what? Dude, there's so many times that we left the club and went somewhere. Yeah. Dallas, Denver. Uh, well. And, I mean, literally, I would get, I would fucking go pass out in the back of the fucking car and we would end up there. I mean, it's not like I didn't know I was going. Okay. I've never done that where I just pass out in a car and then I wake up in a fucking, I've never done that. I, I guess, I mean, a, a long time ago, we did not have a casino here south of Wichita. We actually had to go to Oklahoma in order to be able to go that to the casino. Count. And that is the only time yeah. that that's ever happened to me is I got shit face drunk at the casino and went from Oklahoma back home. Right. <laughs> so that's yeah. that's the only situation I have. Derek. Uh, <clears throat> one time I got really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> one time I got really drunk and and I woke up at an applesauce factory in Dublin. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. What happened? It was a sticky situation. <laughs> <laughs> because of the applesauce? Yeah. Oh, okay. What else, asshole? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. I think it's decent. I think you yeah, can get I better. That's what you're going to get. I don't that's, think so. I, I think you can do better. But you know what? Now you can, you can check that off your list. You, yeah, you I've have done that one. You've done that one. Check. You ever you know that clip from Saturday Night Live where they say we need more cowbell? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> we need we need more Irish downs. <laughs> we need well no. That like, sounds like a fucking. We need more. I think there's a little too much Irish, not enough downs in that. I think, that, I think that's like uh, sounds like a fucking fabric softener. <laughs> Irish downs. Irish downs. <laughs> yeah. uh, keep your clothes feeling fresh. <laughs> <laughs> right. My uh, mom will let me do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to do the cat in there. Oh, shit. What the fuck? All right. I just read the next one. Uh, Caleb Hill. Why? I don't want to know JP's answer. <laughs> I, <don't either. laughs> I really don't either. But Caleb, he wants to know, never have I ever drank pee. Urine. No. Uh, absolutely fucking not. All right. Moving on. Yep. Yep. Oh, God. JP. Let's just move on. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so gross. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, moving on. Next one. I plead the fifth. I'm sure you do, you fucking freak. Uh, next one comes in from Ian Supley. He wants to know, never have I ever looked at another man's junk while <laughs> pissing next to him at the urinal. <laughs> I've touched it with my mouth. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, I, I mean, that's a big yes for me. Oh. Big ten four right before I drank his pee. Oh, that's, so, oh God damn it. that's fucking wrong. Those are two really great questions that's back to back. Fucking yeah. wrong. That is wrong. And also, why JP is not allowed at Buffalo <laughs> Wild Wings? Anymore. Yeah, right. right. I am not allowed at this restaurant chain oh, anymore. Jesus Christ. No, I haven't done this. Everybody knows the, the man law or man rule, which is when you are going into a urinal, you walk straight into that urinal and you stare directly in front of you and you don't look around. You, not me. That's what man law is. Oh, you well, gay guys are on a different yeah, man law system. We don't. We don't follow your laws. That's right. We don't recognize your authority. Uh-huh. Yeah. So absolutely not. I don't. Okay. But I do like to uh, give the occasional, uh, you know, wink. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Give the occasional nice watch comment. Oh yeah. yeah okay. I like good. that too. Yeah. I like that yeah. nice watch, and they're not even wearing a watch. Exactly. Right. Uh, how about you, Derek? Uh, absolutely not. That makes it too hard to concentrate while I'm trying to shit. <laughs> <laughs> good deal. Uh, that is never have I ever. Uh, I do got to say, there was a lot of good ones this week for all of the segments. Yeah. So cats, hats off to you guys. Now I get to move on to JP's favorite part of every episode. That is, that's where I draw the line. By the way, put your hats back on. 
Okay. Got yeah. It. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's where I draw the line. We are going to kick this one off with Travis Cagle, who asked the weirdest question. I had to reword it in a certain way for it to actually make sense. Uh, but he wants to know how much flogging Molly can you listen to when it's not St. Patrick's Day? I I love flogging Molly. <laughs> I listen to him all the time. I flogged my Molly before I came over here tonight. I'm sure you fucking did. I but did. Irish, Irish. <laughs> flogged the shit out of her. Irish rock music is my shit. Yeah. Okay. I, I love. I get that. I, I love that shit. But even like the most fun concert I've ever been to <clears throat> was actually flogging Molly. So I had a really good time. There you so go. I listen to it as much as I possibly can because it makes me happy. Uh, how about you? I've only listened to him like once, mm-hmm. and I got hammered drunk and woke up in a different state. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> they had a two-day music festival at the Kansas Speedway. Oh, yeah? And yeah. they were there. It was like them. Eminem was there. Oh, shit. Uh, Cage the Elephant, uh, the Black Keys. You wouldn't have liked them. Uh, oh, yeah, I would have. And then, <laughs> I love the Black Keys. I don't think so. Who about D12, Kid Cudi. Fuck, yeah, D12's awesome. Muse, but I was way too drunk for Muse. Uh, so yeah, it was all them, and I, and Flog and Molly was on there, and I, I had a great time, but I don't remember any of it. <laughs> <laughs> I had an awesome time. Yeah, um, but I would say I've, uh, I like Dropkick Murphy. I, Dropkick Murphys is actually a band. It has like Irish tendencies, but I, I think most of them are just all from Boston. But like Flog and Molly's lead singer, much like fucking most, Irish. Yeah, much mo- much like a lot of straight guys I know, they have tendencies, but they're from Boston, right? So they, you know, they gotcha. can't do it. So yeah, I'd say I don't know, man. Fucking maybe, yeah. maybe thirty minutes, thirty minutes, thirty minutes, and then you're good for for a year. I'll go for an hour. Oh, I could do good, it for an hour. Good. All right. Well, that gives depends me on where you're at. Like when I went to Ireland, I could listen to that shit all day. Oh yeah. When I got back, I was like, ah, oh, let me just reminisce for a little <laughs> bit of that trip, and then I'm like, all right, I'm gonna hang oh, myself. Good. There you go. Uh, next one, where do you draw the line? This comes in from Cameron Newkirk. He wants to know, how many OnlyFans subscriptions is too many? Why would you even put this question on here? I don't know. He asked. There's no amount. There's none? No. There's yes. not too many. That, you want all of them that you can get. That's how you make your money. No, the other side. <laughs> no, the other side. Oh. That you subscribe to. Not subscribers, subscriptions. How many do I have? Like no, you're like when? It, when is it too many? How, like when you're sitting oh. there and you're going through your you're like, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Yeah. When you can't pay rent. <laughs> oh, that's when it's that's when you that's gotta when cut you, off. When you stop. When you Jesus. when you start eating one meal a day so that you can have enough money for your OnlyFans people. The correct answer is one. Yeah, there are still porn sites that are free. Yeah, I don't know why you people fucking people. I I, I you mean, never done it. Huh? You've never done done an OnlyFans, not one, not one time. Uh, I will admit this: there was one girl. Me too. One. One. Only girl. one. Only one, and it was a guy. Unfortunately, <laughs> Scotty's turned out to be a guy. I figured. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. I, I'm not saying who it is, but uh, she's fucking gorgeous and had the nicest boobs, and she you can't you can't really find them. But if you go to OnlyFans. You can see her tits. And I just nice. really wanted to see what they yeah, look like. And cool. you know what? I was not totally disappointed by it, my... Man. I totally was not I disappointed. Agree. Give her I a agree. shout out. Who is she? Not saying it. Nope. So I I'll had show? such... I'll, 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 oh, so you're still subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll show you. <laughs> no. So mine, mine was my ex's ex, who I used to work with, who I've been friends with for a long time. And I know... I know it's huge. Like, I know. <laughs> but I'd never seen it. So he was he got an OnlyFans, and I was like, fuck yeah. Was, $9.99, are you fucking kidding me? Are you out of your $9. mind? $9.99, <laughs> are you out of your mind? Of course I'll subscribe. And I get breadsticks? Dude, <laughs> totally worth it. Totally worth it, dude. So, so I had to stop because... I was like, if I subscribe, there's another one that I wanted to. Uh-huh. And I was like, no, I am not. No, <laughs> no. I have the same problem with buying shoes. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, honest question, and then we'll get with Derek. But sure. If you find out somebody you know has an OnlyFans, not related or anything, you just somebody you know, are you more enticed to get it? <laughs> If I want to, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Oh, 100%. Oh, God. I For can... sure. There's a couple people that I can think of right now that, man, I would be their top fucking subscriber. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Derek. It, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's I gonna, charge nineteen ninety nine because oh, I'm big enough for two wow, people. Wow. <laughs> nice. Nice. Sorry. All right. Get Derek, that cheddar. How about mm-hmm. you, Derek? Uh, 
I'm going to say two. Two. Okay. Yes. Because one could be you know them or it's curiosity. Yes. And then after that, if you're like, ah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. <laughs> that's why I had to stop. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm like two yeah. is too many. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, right. I've paid, I've paid 10 bucks for dumber shit. Correct. <laughs> you know what I mean? Correct. Way dumber shit. Timu. Yeah. So Anything two. of Timu. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Wish. Yeah. Uh, I, like I bought a kid on Wayfair. <laughs> it was the Jesse. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So two. I'm going to say two. That, I like that answer. Yeah. All right. Uh, next one. Uh, it comes in from Will Gonzalez. This is a good one for JP. 100%. Uh, <laughs> Will wants to know, how much money would it take you to lose to stop gambling? I've not hit that amount. <laughs> Let's phone a friend. Let's call yeah, Steve. I know, right? Yeah, man. I feel like uh, I don't know if there's an amount. Really? Yeah. If you hit rock fucking bottom, I mean, you're still there. I have. Of. Yeah. Oh, I have. You have? There now. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you're still gambling. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But here's the thing. What if it was like not playing cards? Dude, do you think I have like 1500 bucks to go sit at a poker table? Yeah. You do? Yeah. You think I have that kind of money? Sure. You are incorrect. <laughs> <clears throat> but am I going to do it anyway? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what if I win? Yeah, exactly. And Then and, I could eat. And I will give you compliments. You're but pretty yeah. good at uh, fucking poker, so you might. Right. I'm all right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I can, uh, I can attest that there is no amount. I, I can honestly tell you, I, I was at a point two years ago playing fantasy football on DraftKings, and I hit a grand. A you thousand. lost a grand? No, I hit. I'll get there. I hit $1,000 in the bank. But there was four weeks left of football. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, dude, if I r ride this out, I can get this yeah, much right. money in your head. And you lost it all? Lost every fucking dime. And you felt bad? Fuck yeah. Sure did. A grand? A grand. Oh, my God. In four weeks. You would hate my life. Oh, God. <laughs> you wouldn't be, you that, would have jumped off a bridge a long fucking time ago. Oh, yeah. I've lost a grand yeah. in like a couple hours. I believe that. And, I, but, and it wasn't even a big deal. But that's not me. I can't, yeah. I can't do that. It, the grand in four weeks was like, okay, I got to stop. And so I did for a while. Until, okay. Well, at least until next the next season. Right. How about you, Derek? In one night or total, total? That's a that's a better question. How about in one, in one night? night? In one I night. still don't even know. Man. I can tell you how much I've lost in one night. I think the most I've ever lost in one night is like 300 bucks. <sighs> but it depends on what I'm You doing. are a lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. It depends on what I'm we doing. We love fortune over there, JP. Like, if I'm going to Vegas, I'm already, like, I've got, all right, I'm taking this much, just how much I can lose. So I would say, really, if it's more than I can afford to fucking lose. Sure. Like if I start dipping into reserves, uh -huh. if I start going to where I'm like, ah, I just got to get my way back to even, mm -hmm. that's too much. Yeah. Because at that point, now I'm now I'm in shit. Yeah. I remember back as a dealer for the casino, I had this lady that came and sat at my blackjack table, and I was dealing at a $10 table, and she bet $10. Bucks, uh, she doubled down and lost, and she was mad. It was like the first hand. She's like... I lost five thousand dollar today, and I was like, "Well, you're not going to get it back ten bucks at a time." <laughs> yeah, this is the wrong table. <laughs> There's other tables. Yeah, but yeah, if it gets to where you're at that point, so I would say, in one day, you're going to laugh at me. I'm going to say if I lost if I lost over five hundred bucks in a day gambling, I'd be like, I would fucking stop and probably That's my not number. gamble for a while. I have lost that much money in a pot. <laughs> yeah, I believe it more than that. Yeah. yeah. That's my I'm number two. Five hundred of of my initial money. Not That's like, crazy. Not like I was up a thousand and lost five hundred of it. Yeah, back. but here's the if thing, man. If I sat man. down with five hundred bucks and right, chips but, and lost it all, I'd be like, oh, I'd well, be sick. Yeah, but here's the thing. I count that. Like if I if I start playing and I'm up, let's just say I'm up three three thousand, mm -hmm. and I lose all of it. I lost three thousand. I didn't yeah. lose my initial thousand yeah, dollar buy at, i don't look at i don't look at it that way i look at the other you, i right, lost 300 that, bucks yeah. right no i lost fucking three grand yeah you know that's you'd have to look at it that way because that was my money it yeah. was sitting right in front of me i could have fucking walked away at any point in time but yeah dude i've lost more than 500 dollars in a pot i believe i you. don't know what i lost that day when i went to vegas and drank 23 hours <laughs> yeah that's the, i don't I mean know. that's fair yeah. i had a <laughs> shit load of chips in front of me my buddy matt come over and was like dude 
go. Walk well, how much away. are you fucking up right now? And I was like, I don't know, but I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I and lost then nothing. it all. Oh, no, that's bad. All right. Uh, moving on to the next one. This one comes in from another serial killer out there, Andrew James Heath. He, mm-hmm. he wants to know how clingy is too clingy. Asking me to do a podcast every other fucking week. <laughs> yeah, that's Wait pretty clingy. Minute. Hey, come on now. No, we're talking about your, your significant other when they get too clingy. Or when you're dating somebody at first, when do they get too clean? I, boy, well, this they, would have been a good fucking question like when I was dating. That would have been fantastic. Oh, you didn't have one of those? No, I was the clingy fucker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got a couple answers for this. Okay. One, when he puts a... Before they had like a tracker tracking on your cell phone, Mm -hmm. they used to make dog collars that had trackers on them so that you could track the dog wherever it went. Oh, yeah. Pup play for you, JP. No, no. I'm just saying when your ex puts one of those in your trunk so that he can (laughs) find out where you're at at all times, that's a little too clingy. Oh, wow. Uh, The other answer is, no, I forgot. God, I hate when that happens. I, 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 weed, ladies and gentlemen. Weed. Yeah. Smoke this it. segment brought to you by <laughs> weed. Marijuana. There you go. Um, but yeah, that's too. Oh, I know what it was. Uh, yesterday during lunch, I was uh, at a table and I walked back and put in their order and I looked up and this dude that used to stalk me like hardcore oh, no. uh, was sitting there. And, dude, I've never been – I'm not a person that's uncomfortable mm-hmm. ever. Yeah, right. I'm just not that guy. I can be comfortable in almost any situation. Dude, I was that was the most uncomfortable and, like, cr- wigged out I've been in a long time. Uh, that so that's sucks. too clingy yeah. when you've stalked somebody and then you just show up years later out of the blue. And oh. yeah, I, now he knows where I work. Oh, that's and, great. Mm, I'm not happy about it. Oh, he used to sucks. leave me shit on my porch. Oh, like no. Letters and candy and oh. flowers and roofies. Like I would, I would go outside to smoke a cigarette and he would be sitting down the street. Oh God. Oh yeah, dude. Not cool. That's fucking creepy. That's yeah, not it's creepy. Cl- that's not clingy. That's creepy. Oh, okay. Clingy is when you yeah. already have that person. I just think it's too clingy. Uh, no, like for me, it's, I, I'm, I'm a pretty, I like to be alone a lot. So, if I have a if I had a um, a girlfriend or something like that that was constantly texting me all fucking day, I'd lose my shit. Yeah, I I, I yeah. love my wife doesn't text me at all. I'm, we see each other enough. I don't need to have full blown conversations with you when I'm at work. But then, like, yeah, just yeah, that that that'd probably be my number one thing is how many fuck that one bitch that texted some dude like a thousand times after yeah, he dumped right. her bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. creeper. I get that. Okay, uh, last one. I put his name, his actual name on there, like his, <laughs> his screen name or whatever you want to call it, just because it's Derek's favorite thing in the world. What uh, is? His name is Ragin' Honky. Ah, that's not as good as mine. <laughs> What's yours? Honky Kong. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, but his name is Connor Nezerka. He wants to know, where do you draw the line? How big is too big when it comes to a sexual partner? Derek? What are you talking about? No, that'd be you. I'm saying you. That'd be that's his answer. answer. That, that's my answer. Yeah, okay. That, yeah, absolutely. If, it, if they're Derek's size, it's way too big. Uh, no, uh, I'm I'm pretty. You're pretty little, I'm so pretty you sh- might get. Squashed. I'm pretty shallow. Yeah, I, I, too. I I must say I am pretty shallow, especially when it comes to actually picking a partner. I I had like one one night stand with a girl that was a little little thicker, like what I am now, and not not for me. So I I'm. Mine would probably be pretty pretty small, so that's me. Okay, Derek can't weigh more than me. Can't weigh more than then. That's a good way. That's to, true. That's a Is good that a way. statement. Yeah, that's oh, okay. That, that, that I that stand by that. You yeah. cannot weigh. They cannot weigh more than. That's me. a good way. That's like actually a good yeah. fucking answer. I, I like that answer. Equal or less. Okay. All right. Uh, JP. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah. Like, if you have titties, man, <laughs> that's the whole reason I'm. With, I don't want. Yeah, I'm that's safe. But <laughs> so I, am I. But I don't mind thick. I don't mind a little thickness. But it's when, when it starts becoming flabby. I'm safe. And, yeah, you're safe, dude. I'm, you're safe. I'm. I'm kind of getting safe too. I think. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, he's gonna fuck the shit oh, yeah. out of you. <laughs> no, I'm getting that pot of gold. <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> no, you got to be Travis Cagle size. That's the. That's, oh, I like that. That's fun size. That's the. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun size. Yeah. That's the. That's. The, that's not share and tear. That's right that's down the heart size. of the plate. He's going to be, he's gonna have to be doing makeup. That's how I would explain it. Like, <laughs> yeah. 
share and tear, like, you know, that's okay. But the bags that you get at Sam's, not okay. Though. Like M&M's. Like that. Oh, okay. I see what you're like saying. Like you got fun size, <laughs> which is fucking great. Yeah. <clears throat> if I have to get regular, that's cool. Mm-hmm. The share and tear, like the king size. Yeah. That's, that's probably pushing it yeah you're supposed to share those yeah well yeah the bat yeah. and then the bags of candy that you buy, buy to hang yeah, out for ha- halloween big. candy yeah, that's, that's way too, too big, big. Yeah. I, I that's a good way of putting it yeah uh well ladies and gentlemen that is that's where i draw the line now we get to move on to questions and preguntas yeah um again a lot of re- really really good uh suggestions for this week uh, and yeah, so we're going to kick it right off with, uh, Jacob Dubravac. No, that's not right. Jacob Dubrav Cack. J Dub. J Dub. You know, I like that better. J J D. Um, he wants to know rejected game. One shows. of those letters has to be silent. Probably. I think it's the D it's Jacob Abravec. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not the D. Abravec. <laughs> Could be the J. It could be Acob. Yeah, Dub cool, Rav man. Cack. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yep. Uh, but he wants to know rejected game shows. <laughs> that sounds like a Boston accent for love. I Rav Cack. <laughs> 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 Fucking great. Cack is the best. You ever had a nice piece of cack in your life? It's <laughs> great. Put it right up your asshole. <laughs> Uh, Jay said, JP did say some of them end up being from Boston. So. No, they do. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. We call them the Boston Creams. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Derek's favorite game show, Wheel of Torture. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Wheel of Torture. There okay. you go. All I right. think that'd be uh, kind of fun. You know, uh, good movie. Ye- Jeopardy. Yep. The, the oh, Spanish version that's of the Jeopardy. Sp- <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. I still love when they do Black Jeopardy on SNL. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> oh, that's fucking awesome. Uh, how about you, Derek? Uh, got a few. Okay. Uh, like, just imagine there's a setting and there's like, you got to guess who brought the drugs. <laughs> so there's like, there's just this little line of cocaine on a table and they're just like, whose line is it anyway? Like, there's, there's uh, yeah. I see what you did there. Yeah. We got a uh, dysfunctional family feud. Okay. I like that. All right. Like, all right. That's the first liquor you crack at nine in the morning. <laughs> Vodka. Yeah. <laughs> Survey says. <laughs> Number one answer. Yep, that would actually be kind of fucking good. I'd like yeah. that one. No, and good. then uh, Survivor on a fixed income. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So you're not on an island. You're just trying to pay rent. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Hey, you're man. working at Arby's just trying to pay the bills. And we already got somebody they can follow, out, uh, follow it seems around. Like, it seems like they could just come bring their cameras to my house. Exactly. Yeah. I did. You could, JB, you could probably do all three. Yeah. <laughs> Make it uh, all one yeah, show. For sure. Yeah. I, I did just think of one that it might be fun, but call it Stereotypes. And so there you would you have a situation. Oh, it, it would be fucking weird. You. you know, and, you'd have to have black people on the show. <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Uh, absolutely. But you would have a scenario and, and whatever. As long as the, I'm making money off of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you'd have to. I think that would be funny. <laughs> See? <laughs> You're fucking terrible uh, down there, JP. I know. All I'm right. Sorry. Anyways, uh, yeah. So moving on, we're going to go to Daniel Delaney. By the way, this is my good friend from Down Under. Oh, he's an Australian. He's an Australian. Good eye, Daniel. Speaking of which, Derek, any chance you can do an Australian retarded <laughs> guy? I don't think I can. <laughs> I can do Australian, but I don't think I can mix Downsy in that. <laughs> what the hell is that all about? Like that's 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 as Australian as it gets. That's I don't think good. I can throw Downsy in there. Down under. <laughs> yeah. Down under. Anyways, uh, Dan. Down, down under. Dan wants to yeah, know. That's tough. Yeah, that's Dick. not a knife. Now that's a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, uh, I don't think that was that good. Oh, throw, throw, good. say, say, throw another shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> Let's throw another shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty that's good, pretty dude. Good, man. If you could drool while you do it, that would be perfect. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, it made my day. All right, all right. Uh, he, Dan wants to know what does. The J and the P actually stand for giant penis. I'm sure it is. Well, giant giant spelled penis. With a G. I can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. I'm illiterate, mate. Yeah. Uh, in fact, it's it's. Never mind. Uh, I I think you and I have the same answer because we Go saw ahead. that we saw this question yeah. uh, before we played poker and okay. it came up. 
but I think it's just penises. Yeah. Just penises. Just, just penises. penises. Yeah. That's all he wants. I like it. How about you, Derek? Jaded pedophile. <laughs> well, thank you, Derek. Wow. <laughs> I am jaded. <laughs> I am jaded. Oh, my but, God. Yeah. Japanese porn star? Yeah. That could be it. That definitely. That could be it. That Ooh, <laughs> Rook is got zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> It's my initials. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to tell people what it actually is? I think you've slipped up. Before. Jason's in my name. Yeah. And uh, sucking cocks my game. <laughs> <laughs> JP. Penises are your JP. game. JP. Yeah. Jerked it purple. <laughs> Jerked it purple, which I have done. I have done. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, great. All right. <laughs> That's great. Uh, next question comes in from Joe Gonzalez. He wants to know, what's your favorite prank you did on a family member or a friend? Oh, dear God. I made, <laughs> I made my little sister drink pee. <laughs> Did you tell her it tastes just fine? No, I told you her. You were like, open your mouth. Check this out. <laughs> oh, God. When, uh, when, when we were little, like every now and then we would have hot tea, like on cold days or whatever. You know, my mom would make us hot tea. Yeah. And I drank all mine. Then I peed in my cup and told her that I just wasn't feeling that great. And she could have mine. She was real excited. And, oh, yeah. you're a dick. Dude, I was young, too. So I've been a piece of shit for a long time. Ugh. I was like seven. Yeah. Yeah. And then we made her eat dog yummies one time, too, and told her they were gumdrops. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's bad. Uh, but that's probably not the worst thing I've done. I had a roommate after uh, when I was actually, I think it was when I was still in college. I may have been outside of college. Anyways, long story short, uh, we, me and another roommate got a uh, suction cup dildo, and we put it on the passenger side back of his car. And we just figured, you know, he'd find it eventually. He'd find it eventually. I mean, if you looked into the fucking yeah. passenger side rear, you know, you know mirror, you You'd could probably see it. See it. Yeah. Um, we put it on there on like a, a Sunday night, right? He had work in the morning. He came home from work, didn't say anything. So we just thought, fuck, you know, it probably just fell off. You right. know, no, no big it was deal. Still on there. Uh, he comes back Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday night, so he goes, drives to work the next day, comes back home Tuesday night. <laughs> Dudes lose his fucking shit because who put this dick on my fucking car? <laughs> he drove around with a dick on his car for two fucking days. Nice. And it was from one side of town to the to other it. side of town. <laughs> fucking great. Good deal. It was excellent. How about you, Derek? Uh, I have two. Okay. Both of the same person. Oh, no. Uh, me and a buddy, would, uh, a good friend of mine back in the day, we don't really, lo we've lost touch, but. Uh, we would uh we had another friend of ours which i still do talk to um we would just randomly decide we were going to go fuck with his front yard uh so the f one night we took uh i went and bought 27 boxes of tinsel uh and eight pounds of confetti oh, and uh we <laughs> tinseled and confettied his entire front yard that's <laughs> awesome oh, Jesus um, i remember when you rocked back and forth in the moonlight his front yard shimmered uh <laughs> I remember this. This was in January, and he was fucking mowing the yard <laughs> in January. And I remember him calling me, going, "Dude, when I have to mow three times and it's still not gone, that's vandalism." <laughs> um, fast forward to February. <laughs> uh, we got bored one night hanging out, and we're like, "Let's go prank his front yard." So. What I don't know why we came up with the idea. We made a fake dead body. Um, <laughs> I used to work at the same job as the the prankee uh, yeah. worked at, so I had my old uniform, and so we made the body out of that uniform. Nice. Uh, we went to Walmart and bought pillows and ripped the <clears throat> stuffing out of the pillows. I bought like a ball, uh, like one of those shitty balls when you throw it and it just kind of doesn't go in a straight line. Yeah. It doesn't weigh yeah, anything. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, like every poor kid had one in oh, the yeah. 90s. Yeah. So I bought one of those, and I put a stocking cap on it and, like, safety pinned it to the collar of the shirt. I had gloves. I had an old pair of shoes. Um, and we made this body, and we taped off the entire front yard with black and yellow, like, caution tape. Yeah. Nice. Um, it was, like, 2 in the morning. It would just so happen to be snowing. Um, so I had a giant kitchen knife. I didn't cook. I didn't need it. So I stabbed it straight in the <laughs> fucking back. I put tomato juice and shit all around it, and then I put an empty bottle of Jaeger in one hand, and I put some dried macaroni to make it look like vomit coming out 
of the other side oh god and face down from his porch <clears throat> oh jesus he wakes up he had to go to work at 4 30 in the morning so obviously he wakes up it's still dark out uh goes to his front porch apparently like was locking the door and then like fucking like jumped and then uh, he was going to be late for work. He had to clear his fucking car off, so he just drugged the body over to the, next to the tree and <laughs> went to fucking work. <laughs> and uh, keep in mind, at one point, him and I wore the same uniform. That is on that dead body. His wife wakes up. Oh, shit. Thinks it's him. <laughs> thinks it's nice. him. <laughs> nice. Freaks the fuck out. Goes outside, realizes what it is, leaves it there. <laughs> the whole day up and down his street cars were driving by two or three times Ooh, yes oh, uh, people were getting out of the car i'm going to show you a picture of the body oh no you have a picture i have a picture we should with it in the yard this is from oh my god this is from the porch where's the porch here and you can you i'll send this to you if you yep. want to put it on yes the show. I, I do i do that is from the porch oh my god that looks great Oh, that looks fucking great. That's good. That's fucking good. Yeah, please please do send that to I, me. I think I found my calling in special effects. Fuck yeah. That's that is Oh wow. That is yeah. that's that's excellent. That's a better picture. <laughs> oh yeah. man. And then you can see where we tape like the whole yard Dude, off there that's with awesome. the, Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's, oh, that's awesome. spectacular. That was probably my favorite prank I've ever fucking done. <laughs> you are fucking evil, man. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. And then we ended up like two days later, like uh, he had a spare key to another one of our friends' house. So we put it in the living room while he was asleep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> God, you're dick. Ah, oh, man. All right. Uh, next question comes in from Jeremy Hopkins. He wants to know where do poor people go on vacation? JP? <laughs> we don't take vacations. <laughs> Oh, you got that's where Kansas City. That's, yeah. yeah, that's that's where Oklahoma s- City. That's where staycation was invented. Yeah, right. I mean, can you imagine though? Think of like the shittiest place to go on vacation. That's like dirt cheap. Riverfest. <laughs> <laughs> Hutch. Oh, oh, Hutchison. Yeah. yeah, the state fair. I guess people don't know this, but yeah, the uh, if you don't live here in Wichita, the River Festival used to be. I mean, a lot of fun, but now it's like the trashiest of the trashiest go there it's awful and it's awful but people drive from hours away to go to it and it's a week long let's watch the river yeah exactly that they have to fill up for that goddamn. well not only that but all those dead fish that float around on the top Uh, it's it's the dirtiest fucking ridiculous water Uh, i actually do have a real answer for this okay uh this is the zoo yeah right there yeah that is a good place to go if you don't have a lot of money a lot of especially our zoo it's fucking huge and then other places it's just not very expensive to go in and you can kill fucking six hours in there if you wanted to so the zoo is my answer okay Derek camping yeah yeah that's a good one (laughs) that is where here have some hot dogs we're gonna roast it over this fire yeah yeah, yeah, actually, you make a very good point. I would say San, Franci- great, San Francisco right now, a lot of people out there camping. Yeah, just they in the, are. The, the, just in general. Just on, like the, on the street. Yeah, homeless. Uh-huh, 100%. Right? I saw, I didn't see a tent. Tents. I saw a few, but not yeah. a ton. Oh, uh, there. You were in the good area. No, I wasn't. I found, I found out. Oh, really? No, yeah. A you, friend of mine's uh, husband's you, a cop out there. He told me, don't go much farther away than where you're at. Yeah, like, there you go. And we did. But. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and last question comes in from uh, his his name is D- is Gator Hater O nine. His first name is Dakota. He wants to know name a comedian who isn't well known or who isn't well known that we should get to know. Name a comedian who isn't well known that we should get to know. That's actually a really good question. Uh, Sam Talent. Sam Talent. Okay. Yes. Two. I think it's yeah. Sam Talent. He is fucking amazing. Okay. I've seen you could go watch three shows of his in a row and they're all going to be different. Yeah. He's fucking awesome. Um that's not even close. Like that's yeah. I mean any any one of these guys whenever they go do a show, we we hope that if you're in the area, go support them. I mean that we do this show specifically for comedy anymore. 
Um, it technically is a sports show, but that was the goal whenever we switched to laughing on the sidelines was to get exposure for a lot of these comedians. So I, I would say anybody, Megan Welch, Steve Peters, JP, whenever he decides to fucking do that shit again. I'm going to real soon. I'm going to do a, I'm going to yeah. record a special yeah. real soon. Derek Alders, Travis Cagle, um, any of the people that we've had on the show. I, I mean, they're good. Uh, there's a reason why the show's successful and it's because of that. So I will, I will go with those guys is who I would say. JP? Shane Gillis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. If you're not familiar with the guy, go check him out. Some, I mean, we haven't done over... I don't follow a bunch I know, of comedy. I, I know you don't. Which, we we yeah. haven't... Uh, we haven't done overrated or underrated in a very long time and people still put overrated sh- and underrated shit on the uh, for a comment yeah, yeah somebody said overrated or underrated shane gillis no. and i'm like what a dumb question underrated as fuck way underrated best yeah. saturday night live episode i've seen ever like mm, it, or one of them i don't know about that i thought it was great it was, there was um, some, it had its i'm trying to think of like course. some up-and-comers that like i've i've met and stuff like I that think, i think he's past that now but i would i would have said two three years ago or four years ago chad daniels mm-hmm. yeah yeah, yeah he's, he's but i think he's past that that dusty point. slay dusty slay is a good one especially love, yeah and yeah. he's he's getting there he's getting there <laughs> he's getting there like i mean you know what i mean yeah I he's guess. pretty mainstream oh he's his mainstream yeah, yeah, yeah. i'd say dusty slay for sure is but he could do he's gonna get way bigger oh, i think fuck uh aj wilkerson and jake rubel yeah we've had him on the show and i still message aj from time to time and we send each other stuff back and forth he's fucking hilarious but i really i really like jake too so steve peters said a lot a lot yeah with the gambling question okay I, 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 <laughs> that very good? And he's like oh shit man a lot that's good enough so yeah all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Thank you guys all very, very much for per, uh, per participating in Monday, Friday. It is going to be coming out on Fridays from this point on, so keep your eyes peeled for that. But ladies and gentlemen, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I fucking won last week fair and square. I don't know, man. I think I was close. <laughs> <laughs> you, this is what happens when you don't play by the w- rules of the draft. Man, I can't believe I, I like when I looked. I don't even remember what day it was, but it, it was two or three days after the show. Yo, yeah. I looked on Facebook and I had no votes. None. None. It's what you get. <laughs> and and my I li- like it. My list was every single <laughs> movie that I wanted. Yeah. So because I didn't pick any. You didn't. Yeah. Good so ones. you were the free space and I got everything else. So Good I, deal. I won last week's draft. So that means that I get the championship picks. Uh, JP was here last week. So uh, he's going to get his favorite, which are the sandwich picks. Um, I'm going to start calling them the Eiffel Tower picks. I like that. <laughs> so fucking gross. And Derek. Derek uh, hasn't been here for a couple weeks. And so he will get the number one overall pick for this week's draft. Uh, it, it is relatable for me because uh, we haven't seen Clayton slash Fred in a, quite a while, and that's because he is planning his wedding. Um, and so I got the idea of we're going to do the draft of the worst wedding gifts to give the new couple. So that's what our draft is going to be, the like worst it. wedding gifts draft. I like it. And Derek gets the very first pick. Uh, divorce attorney. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Yeah, that's good. Uh, boo. Yeah, I like it. All right. JP, what do you have? Monogram towels. Monogram towels? What the fuck is that? Like towels with their, with their initials, initials oh, on them. Oh, that's so fucking cheesy. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, God. Okay. I uh, My first pick is, is my in my opinion, the overall 101. And I'm going to go live, laugh, love decorations. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's so fucking stupid. Yeah. Um, and then I am also going to pick, uh, it's like a stereotype or stereotypical gift that everybody gives, and I just think it's absolutely stupid. And I'm going to go with a toaster. Yeah, that's a good one. I yeah. got it. 
So I had it on there, but yeah, I was going to wait for it. I know, but I'm, I got, I'm, that's I, good. yeah, I, that's what I'm going with. Nice. JP, what's your next gift? Uh, self-help books. Self-help books. Nice. And do I get another one right back? No, nope, no, nope, nope. You're in oh, the middle of this draft. I don't like it. Yep. Uh, Derek, on the other hand, gets two in a row. No, oh, cool. Good for Derek. Yeah. A card with a two dollar bill in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I would take that. Okay. Uh, leftover Taco Bell sauce packets. Nice <laughs> Taco Bell sauce packets. Got it. Ah oh, shit. Okay. Uh, JP. Uh, exercise equipment. Oh, fuck. That was the one. Damn it. A, a Bowflex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. That sucks. Because that was going to be my next pick. Um, I am going to make it uh, awkward at this particular wedding, and I'm going to get uh, sex furniture. Like a swing. <laughs> like a swing. Yeah, I'm gonna, I don't. I mean, I... Uh, uh, that's Knowing what, that, I'm going to invite you to my wedding. <laughs> I'm going to go with a sex swing. I like that. And then I am going to get um, matching pajama yeah, outfits. Yeah. That's good. All right. Okay. JP, what do you got? Um, rabbits. <laughs> one male and one female oh, so that they breed no. and you know rabbits breed fast they sure so, do just pets in general yeah I would, any pet yeah derek you get your last two a hooker <laughs> <laughs> okay and your last pick a box of penisaurus rexes <laughs> that is a good gift damn it <laughs> Oh, that's a great pick. What's better than one Penosaurus Rex? Uh, a whole box, a whole of, box whole of Penosaurus box Rexes. Of I don't remember who sent us those uh, Penosaurus. Or that's the greatest thing we got. Yeah, that it, it's still they're still here. I think there's some. Of I've there. got two on my coffee table right now. I'm sure you do. I do. All right, and JP, if he could make me some salt and pepper shaker ones, I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, JP. Last pick. Nude portrait from your imagination. Oh, like if you no. paint the nude portrait of the couple. You know what would be even better? What? A portrait of yourself as a centaur. That would be a good one. <laughs> that would be a good one. That that's would. one of a kind. That is. You can't you can't fucking Yeah, that's true. Um all right, so there are some that I was thinking of that like like so fucking cliche. It, the best gift to give somebody at a wedding is cash. Yeah, it's always two dollar bill. Yeah, it's no. Yeah. Well, I mean, $2 you know, bill. a bunch of cash, right? Oh, two okay. two dollar bills. But like <laughs> the three two yeah. dollar bills, and that's my final <laughs> offer. Yeah, <laughs> but my final pick is going to be uh, gift cards to. Uh, I'm going to go with gift cards to Applebee's. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some shit restaurant. Yeah, just yeah. some shit. It's like Any you motherfucker. Yeah. I would have went with a coupon. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not even coupon. a gift card. A That's coupon. even better. A coupon yeah. That's would even be better. even better. Coupon one book. Yeah. One of those, get one half off. One of those books. Yes. You know that like, kids would sell you yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Fuck That'd yeah. That'd be a good one. Just a bunch of old Wichita State tickets. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> hey man, these were going to be valuable. Or the the thunder tickets that you can get for free at Quick Trip. Oh god damn it. Oh damn it! I I just I have it. I have a great pick, and I yeah. if I can switch it, no, nope, you want can't. It. It We've done please, this before. You please. always want to switch. It's too late. A signed picture of Benny Agbayani. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I would get. Jeremy's got one of those. He sure does. Yeah. Do you, does he still have it? I hope so. <laughs> I hope it's above the mantle next to the centaur <laughs> painting. <laughs> it I got it better. Uh, right, shit. right next to my centaur painting. But yes, this is the draft for the worst things to get somebody who is uh, getting married. Uh, you can go and vote on uh, this list at facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or uh, Twitter slash X, which is at LOT sidelines and vote for your favorite list of the worst wedding gifts for somebody. Man, surely I'm going to get a vote this week. You got to, man. Uh, you you have answers. to. Absolutely. All I, right. I really love the exercise equipment and nude portrait. I think that's great. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, now we can move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sideline Shitty Situation, brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and JP. And also Derek. 
Wow, I got an applause. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. big applause. Yeah, sure. man. They're still going. Well, yeah. they should be. I'm a two-time winner. <laughs> <laughs> Which does funniest person. You keep it going. Keep so, oh, I'm sorry. Encore. Yeah. 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 Give it some more. <laughs> ah, damn it. Show me some fucking respect. That's right. Uh, all right. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right. All right, come on, come on calm guys. down. We got to get through the show. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but yes, uh, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is uh, is related to the Easter. Easter is coming right around the corner, and so uh, naturally, what would you rather happen? Would you rather have the Easter Bunny hide your keys to your vehicle or your cellular telephone? Oh, that's easy. Yeah, my keys. All day long. Why? Because, dude, there's you can call an Uber and go to the fucking key shop and get a new key made, but you can't fucking like you can replace a cell phone, but all that shit is gone. I guess you got the cloud. Yeah, yeah, you got Apple Care. But still, man, I've left my phone at home like when I went to work, Mm -hmm. and dude, like it fucks your whole day. True. Like I'd much rather, yeah, rather hide my keys for sure. I I'm in a I'm in a weirder situation. I would also say I would rather him hide my keys. Or uh huh. My phone's on silent, but if it's not on silent, I would say phone because you could just fucking have somebody call it and you'd find it. <laughs> oh, okay, you, you know? fair enough. So that's kind of a workaround. I'm work thinking around. more or less that like you can't find these and you've got to get someplace, right? So I I am going to definitely say I'd much rather him hide my keys because yeah. I could. If I really, really had to, I could walk to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and so then my phone is is pretty much my life is on that phone. Right. That's what I'm saying. And and I That'd know that I worse. could retrieve it, but I also need to plus, call somebody in an emergency. Right. <laughs> that is plus, the biggest thing. Plus, what if they steal my phone or fucking hide my phone and then somebody else finds it and then my dick pics get out? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that'd suck, JP. Man, could you imagine all the fucking messages I'd be getting? Oh. Well, you wouldn't because you won't have your phone. <laughs> True. See? There See what go. happens there? I'm still going keys. Yeah. All right. Derek, how, Derek, how about you? Oh, <clears> man. <throat> I'm gonna, I would rather lose my keys, I think. Yeah. Uh, reason being is I can at least call work and be like, hey, I'm not gonna be yeah, in today. I, <laughs> I cannot find my fucking key. That fucking Easter bunny <laughs> hit my fucking Easter keys. Bunny. Yeah, yeah, they're like, you work at a bank. We're not even open today. I'm, I'm gonna be like, so, mind yeah. your own goddamn business, Jake. <laughs> Dude, I'm totally calling in that next Monday and fucking, hey man, the Easter bunny hid my keys. I can't come into work. I'm <laughs> totally using that. I fucking told Jeremy he should call in gay to work. Yeah, you told <laughs> yeah. us that. I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make it today. I'm sucking dick. <laughs> 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 It's a life changing experience. Yeah, it is. But yeah, I think I think that's got to be it. Because then it I is. can at least sit at home on my phone. If I right. lost my phone, I'd be sitting there like oh, I need my fucking phone. Mm-hmm. I can. I mean, it's going to be cheaper. Yeah, to actually probably lose my phone. Oh no! Days. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I have no, Apple no. Care. It's like through two hundred bucks. If I get if I lose Dude, my phone, keys are way cheaper than that, bro. No, I got to get it reprogrammed and everything. I know a guy that fucking, there's a key shop right downtown that'll do it for fucking a hundred bucks. It doesn't matter what fucking vehicle you drive. Yeah, but you still got to pay for the key. A hundred bucks. Oh, it's a hundred bucks, including yeah. the key. Yeah. I can tell you, I can tell you how much uh, one of my keys would cost. Well, it's like 200, 250 bucks, depending on the key. Plus the programming. Oh, that, including, that's, yeah, okay. that's programming as well. So, yeah. But the other thing is, is like, I'm imagining it's like, what? would it absolutely kill me if I didn't have my cell phone and it's when I'm taking a shit. Mm. Like you don't if you don't have that thing, it's like you Well you could just dangle your keys in front of you. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Like, like a baby. Uh, yeah. Well shit. if somebody finds my phone and gets like fucking gets into my passwords and gets my oh, shit yeah, like that, that's, you, you, you are, if you get into my car, you're just gonna get old French fries underneath the seat. Yeah. And, like a, sh- and a shitload of of rap CDs. No. Oh, no, you don't have them anymore. You I don't, don't have I, CDs anymore. Uh, they're somewhere probably in my trunk. Really? Yeah. Right, well, then that'd be okay. Uh, but, yeah, anyways, uh, guys, it's been a fun episode. Had a lot it of has. fun with these guys. Uh, tune in next week. I think we're going to have uh, Travis Cagle on next week's episode, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but, yeah, Monday Fun Day is now on Friday, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that as well. Uh, we're going to have uh, have a good show, but it, it, it's not going to be near as good as this one. I agree. Right? No. It's yeah it's us it's always more fun when derek's here absolutely yeah i'm having a fucking blast (laughs) yeah i know you are yeah you're just doing just fine 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so very much. Uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on sharing our content that we, we really do appreciate. There was a question about people stealing our sounds and stuff like that. At this point, it, it doesn't matter. At this point, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, obviously, we would um, love everybody to know that it's us. And so, yeah, I mean, you guys do a great job. Let them know who, where that initially came from. But it is what it is. Uh, do appreciate all of you. But any more it's just going to happen no matter what. Uh, but keep on doing what you're doing, which is telling people about the show and uh, sharing our content, our TikToks, our, our YouTube, all, everything. We really do appreciate it. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you get your ass kicked at Burning Man. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Party on, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> until next time... Keep laughing, ass. We will see y'all later. Take care.